I just realized I get to the airport and forget my clicker. You know, my little clicker, the click click thing to, to do all the recording. I, I forgot that. How did I forget that? That's the most important thing. Well, anyway, up early in the morning here at uh, O'Hara Airport, getting ready to head out to Boston. We're elevating the outdoor living. I set my alarm clock like at uh, 3.15, but I set it at 3.15 p.m. instead of 3.15 a.m. So obviously I woke up late. So it is about our race. And one thing about O'Hara, they got this strict rule that you have to have your luggage in an hour before the flight takes off. So I was planning on leaving the house at four o'clock to get here like around 4.30, 4.45. The flight leaves at six, so it gave me enough time. Well, I didn't get to the airport until 5.03. And so good thing wasn't nobody there, so they let me in and go from there. But it was crazy mad dash, 89, 90 mile per hour on the freeway. I'm still trying to fill myself and pat myself down and make sure I have everything. But uh, anyway, hang out with us today. Pretty nice vlog, heading out to uh, Connecticut, flying into Boston uh, to meet a new client out there to talk about an outdoor living space. Through all the chaos, I did make it to the flight, plane on time, I mean on time, and even got in the plane pretty early, so uh, I'm not complaining. Everything worked out this morning. I guess it, the, it was supposed to be the way it was supposed to be. Boston is complete. Uh, give you guys a little tip. I've never been to Boston before. And I was like, you know, I was kind of like, I'm happy because in the past four years, I've been to pretty much every major airport in America, but Boston and Seattle. And I remember writing down this year that I got to knock out Boston and uh, Seattle, here I come. So uh, finally made it to Boston. I can check this one off my list. Uh, now getting ready for the drive to Connecticut. the time I don't do baggage claim uh, but whenever I'm meeting a client for the first time I have to bring out like all my lasers and and my tripod equipment so it's a must that it must go in the plane it's too big I, I need, actually need I was doing some research there's some smaller ones you can get and I need to find like a smaller one that I can carry that I can throw on like my backpack or something like that because uh, even though it's a day trip I still have to check that bag because it's the laser and uh, all the surveying tools that's inside of it So I made it here with the client and it's raining. I mean, like it's not just raining y'all. It's water is falling out of the sky. Like it's that bad. Like the one thing about the way we measure is I have like very high end technology tools. I don't just use pencil and paper. I have laser equipment. I have iPads and everything and they can't get wet. You mean like when I'm local, I just know that I won't schedule the measure that day. When I'm out of town, it has to happen. I got a flight leaving out at 8.45 the night. I just got in this morning. So this rain has to stop so I can get this these measurements taken care of. Taking a break, uh, Jesse, the homeowner, sent me to like a little local diner type. So I'm about to eat really good. I have like a, a window here coming, I think in another 45 minutes where the rain's gonna stop. So I gotta race back to the house and get as many measurements and elevation shots as I can before the rain starting to head back to the airport to head back. But uh, I didn't really have a contingency plan for this. I always thought about something like this happening, but it's never happened. Normally when I get the plane tickets and the hotels and the rental cars and set it all up, the sky opens up for me home and it's just ready. Today, we're getting wet. I, I think we're also dealing with that storm uh, coming up through North Carolina and the, and the coast. So I'm just even hoping that uh, the flights are even heading back out so I can even head back home. weather broke <laughs> I was able to get all the measurements that I need 
and uh, all the elevation shots. Uh, I think I only had like an hour window of no rain because it looked like it's starting to sprinkle again. So I just got lucky. I have no contingency plan for this. So if I travel and it rains, I was gonna have to go get a poncho and pull this off in the rain, but I was able to get all the measurements Hey, the neat part about this job is the client had the house built several years ago and wasn't really too happy with the builders. So they, they basically stopped from there. Like there was no front walkway, there was a driveway, the backyard, there was no steps on the back because they basically pretty much had to let the builder go, almost pretty much fired or whatever. So he waited a few years to make sure he had everything right. And then he said, okay, I wanted to start getting some estimates and some designs. It's sort of the same story. He called some local companies out in the area, showed up, didn't know what to do, said, hey, I'll put something here. And so he did some research and uh, gave us a call up in Chicago and uh, we flew down today to take care of him. Uh, Folks, it's it's not it's not hard. It's it's very simple. Give us a call. We'll take care of you. Uh, traveling is nothing to us. Like this is a day trip for me. I flew in this morning, and then I'm heading back to uh, Boston's airport uh, to take another flight out back home to Chicago tonight. And it's just another day in uh, designing. I come in on site to get all the measurements, all the elevation. I spend about two hours hanging out with Jesse, uh, learning more about what he wants and what he wants to do. Then after that, we'll get a comprehensive design. So keep on the lookout for this project coming soon. I still have a rough time vlogging in public. I don't know why it bothers me. I mean, really, these people, I, they don't know me. I don't know them. I don't know why I just do what I want to do. But anyway, here at Boston, very long day. Uh, day has been very long. And it looks like it's about to get longer with that storm that's hitting North Carolina, uh, hitting the East Coast. It's kind of backing up all the flights. So I just got reports that our flight is pretty much delayed already. So I don't know how far it's going to be. So uh, here it is. So I, actually, I'm just going to sit here and edit this vlog. Day's work, made it back home safely, back in Chicago, nothing like being back in ORD. Yeah.